In one violent moment, this family was torn apart. Zakia Nazir, a Christian, lost six relatives in the attack on the church. There's no substitute for the brothers I lost, she said. I'll never get them back. And there are dozens of other families here dealing with their sudden losses. Over 80 people are now known to have died when two suicide bombers blew themselves up amongst the congregation that had just finished Sunday Mass here. Christian protesters have since taken to the streets, their anger directed at the authorities for not giving them protection, but also at politicians who'd recently been calling for talks with the Pakistani Taliban. Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif had been pursuing a strategy of preparing the ground for dialogue with the militants, backed by other prominent leaders. If the losses which we have suffered so far as a result of using force, if those could be stopped and if we could come, if we could bring peace back in our country, I, I think one should prefer that one instead of using force against our, one's own people. They are our own people. The militants may indeed be Pakistanis, but is it really right to give them concessions when they've killed so many of their countrymen? It hasn't worked well in the past. In 2005, former leader of the Pakistani Taliban, Baitullah Massoud, signed a peace deal with the government, but it fell apart. Many felt the group just used the time to gain ground. Well, of course, Pakistanis are exhausted with the bloodshed after years in which thousands of civilians and soldiers have been killed. But while talks might bring some respite from the violence, the real fear is that they could also just leave the militants in an even stronger position. This time, while the militants are saying they're willing to talk, attacks are still happening. These people are mourning the death of Pakistani Army General Sanullah Khan Niazi. He's seen here on the right in recent footage from the Swat Valley, where he was commanding officer. It was close to there that his jeep was blown up. He was, not, he was literally a supportive personality. In their grief, some are skeptical about what dialogue words with the matter. Taliban will achieve. They won't, words can't bring him back. I'm thinking that the people that are making calls, the decisions, they should think about. They will be the victims next too. Whether it's Christians at prayer or it's soldiers in the field, this country is still grappling hard with how to stop the killing. Ali Makbul, BBC News, in Pakistan.